So they have answered our prayers. They have finally brought back Alliance team battle in a reasonable amount of time. But it's super awesome because we got to like cultivate a lot of our units and strategies over the what last month or so since um Alliance team battle number two. Either way, it's a lot of ner nerfs um to the enemy units. A lot of buffs to our units and our accounts, but mostly because of these just phenomenal um, New Year's and Rainy Festival events that we've been, you know, feasting upon for the last, what, four weeks now? So, either way, I'm going to show you guys my personal strategy, and I'm sure you guys are going to tell me even better ones. But either way, we're going to do a lot of damage in this Hell Alliance team battle, so let's get into it. What it do, it's your boy LA Summers, and our prayers have been answered. We're going into this New Year's right, and they have finally brought back Alliance Team Battle in like a reasonable amount of time. And obviously, I guess after like the first go around, which was our round one, and our current round being round three. So, round one came way too much HP, but we, you know, got it done. We did a really good job. Round two came a lot less HP. And a lot better units, a lot of time passed, so we got to build our accounts and we have um you know better strategies. And now does it say strategy? It's not a well, I guess there's only one on strategy, huh? Anyway, and now round three is here, and they got like they like nerfed again. Like, I don't know if you guys seen Payne's HP is like super low, but anyway, it seems that they nerfed it again. And it should be a, a lot easier now, especially if you guys have been like utilizing the um, Christmas event plus the double frags event. And um, if you guys have been like saving your alliance coins, because if you're not like powering up the tribes, it's literally, I mean, pretty much nothing to do with it. Like, what are you gonna do? Fallen Farm Hyrazen? That's crazy talk. All right. Oh, it's a Zabuza. I think it's Zabuza. Oswald, it's crazy talk. But anyway, all right. So there's three phases of the event, right? The battle time selection phase where this time around my alliance chose to battle at 9 o'clock Eastern time, which isn't great. But I know I can understand how like the logic behind it because it's like, all right, well, that way we can like do as much boost as we can prior to the start of the event. But it's just kind of late and it's like, ah, I feel like like noon is kind of like the sweet spot, but it is what it is. Only because it's like, all right. If you're working at night time, you can do it. If you're working at daytime, it's probably lunchtime. Or if you're in school, it's probably lunchtime. If not, you could probably like sneak off somewhere and just like do your three battles. But I mean, I guess you could do that anytime. But like nine, nine o'clock is, like, eh, you know, eh, I don't know, man. You start cutting into family time and and if you work night jobs, etc. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, it is what it is, and I could definitely understand why we did it. I just personally would have preferred um, noon. And then we have the preparation phase. Uh, use the scientific ninja tools. Um, you upgrade your tribes, tribe special damage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause that's like the best strategy to get these um to get the most damage done. That way we can be you know easily hitting like the one billion, dependent on the level of your alliance and how many members you have. Also, guys, if you guys um every day you get you know five upgrades, you should upgrade your uh, alliance members that's like the best you know upgrade all right and then the battle phase and we're gonna go into the battle phase now so like i said it's been all day it is what it is you know what i mean i was i um i made it to like 93 percent on this flashback genealogy I, I i recorded the video but i didn't i didn't upload it yet. i don't know why but anyway so we're gonna hop over into the um alliance team battle real quick i'm gonna show you guys the strategy that um, we've currently been using, right? Okay, so we are going to fight. I believe we um gonna fight Hidan first because I mean, like eight. All right, if we fight one of the SRs, right, and they only got like 70 million, 80 million um HP, they're gonna get fucking wiped out, and this is not even gonna be funny. You know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna get 
absolutely wiped out and then it's kind of gonna be like a waste of the extra tribe gauge so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over and fight he first even though it's kind of like, ugh. i kind of feel like i want to fight fucking um kisami first even though at that point i'm not going to be able to actually utilize the strategy to like 100 percent effectiveness so i'm gonna fight hit <laughs> uh even though it's like he got so many boosts it's kind of a drag huh that's okay um this, this is mostly gonna be a test run anyway okay so the the team i use i use a oh it's actually not just one i use a tribe special team and i use um the new team seven but i'm actually gonna switch off um i'm gonna switch off sakura even though sakura would get boosted but i'm gonna switch off of, um sakura blossom only because in case we do get attacked i don't want anybody to get killed on my tribe All right but essentially uh use the tribe especially that boosts your own attack etc the best one currently would probably probably be um adult sasuke and pretty much sasuke family sasuke you are sarada but i don't have you are sarada and you know um fucking okay, adult sakura or whatever because they increase um damage increase rate and attack but you know this guy's increased attack and chakra even though it's like with side increase in chakra we really don't need it but also we're gonna hop into it so all right we have dry here dry is going to be giving us try special and boosting our um tactical units attack which is pretty much just going to be side unless i switch in sakura here uh, for tactical sakura for the um sakura blossom then we're going to have obito to lower damage reduction rate even though i guess technically if he only lowers damage reduction rate for three turns maybe having um karen sasuke might be a little bit better because he lowers it for the rest of the battle huh and then data is gonna give us um crit damage and lower defense itachi and um naruto are both gonna give us an attack increase and i chose to use shikamaru over um the kazakage gara travel even though travel will give us about um i think it's like 17 18 20 percent something like that for um another attack increase so but all because he gives all right Shigamaru is going to give us 10% um, like increase for our tactical units. And then also he's going to do, I believe it's 60 something percent damage reduction rate for one turn only. So, you know, <laughs> only one turn is kind of ass, but it is what it is. Okay, so we're, we're going we're gonna, to um, try this one out. If, if, if it don't go the way we need it to go, then we're going to just go on and... um. Oh, sugar honey iced tea okay i already messed up hold up i already messed up i forgot that um data was not gonna oh god damn me i didn't mess up <laughs> that's funny okay see i, I was thinking that i messed up i'm like oh no because data is not gonna have his um his jutsu but then i forgot that he's gonna get six thousand like 6200 chakra from the um from size try special Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dedora. I forgot. Yeah. I mean, I think so, right? We'll, we'll see what actually happens. Okay, we'll try this again. I think he will. I mean, I'm not actually entirely sure. And because I'm not sure, I might have to switch him. I might have to switch him with somebody else. I'll, th I'll, think, I'll think about it. Man, I wish I would have um, actually just did the first try and then like hopped on into it. But it is what it is. Because if not, I'll put um, Deidara in the third slot and then I guess I could put Shikamaru in the second slot. But the thing about having Shikamaru there is that he's gonna, he's not going to get the damage reduction rate where we need it per se. And I think it just switched right before I clicked on it too. Oh no, good job. Okay, so we're gonna hop on over here. Okay, I see. I see people doing damage, but it doesn't look. Let me see what we're doing. All right, so we got about 8 million, 8 million, 39 million. Okay, so my boy CB19, he gets it. He gets it. I guess, um. all right, we'll, we'll, we'll just hop into it. 
he did 34 everybody else did about nine ish so we're, we're going to see um oh are they attacking kona and attacking kisami okay okay that's fine yeah yeah that, that actually works out pretty pretty well um did we kill kisami already oh you guys did awesome hey great job guys that was a fucking awesome job awesome job now if everybody else could hop on we, we, we should be able to get this done. okay so let's look at this team one more time we are not entirely sure that data is going to get off his juice even though he should because all right if he gets like i think it's like about almost uh, uh, like a, a shade under 6300 chakra from the, the tri special and then the size um his limit break unique skill or passive skill whatever shinobi trait there you go he'll give us another like like 18 62 come on level 81 and then he'll do that twice so let, let's see how this works out let's see how this works out okay first things first boom we're gonna bust out a, a try special yeah try special and I'm, I'm actually gonna um, put it down to about two times speed only because sometimes like i don't know what it is like if i put on like five times speed it just does zero damage like i don't i don't know exactly like why that is it happens here it happens in um it happens in laboratory of the abyss like, i don't i don't know what it is so our first attack does 1.4 million which is decent all right sakura gets attacked everybody has enough to fire off a jutsu which is awesome oh fuck a duck okay we messed up all right so we need we need obito to actually attack before datara fuck that's okay because now data is not gonna go for damage reduction which is like not exactly what we need then we have a uh, dry attack this is gonna be whatever that's my, my dry doesn't really do a lot of damage cool we got a uh, block off now here's 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 what things get you know where they need to get um all right, hopefully we can get a stun with Shikamaru. We get the stun with Shikamaru and you know, we get a couple of crits. That's fine. We really just want to be able to um like boost our damage. So, let's see what happens. But I, I really want the stun because um fuck, we didn't get the stun. Well, hopefully like nobody dies. Even though I guess if somebody dies, I would probably prefer it to be like Shikamaru. That way I can still get off some um some jutsus okay let's see all right he attacked chikamaru i mean I, I hope he survived but if he doesn't which he won't ah uh, it's crazy because it's fucking itachi would have survived that with like flying colors greedy mother fudge cake but out of the way so now we're gonna fire off our second ex trial special and then uh remember previously we did 1.4 million so let's see how much this one does remind you that um is we're stacking 68.75 percent attack i want to say and there's 100 plus 280 percent damage so there we go this time around we got 7.3 million which is awesome so currently we got 1.4 plus 7.3 plus um you know miscellaneous amounts of uh damage as we went along now we're gonna be dropping his defense, even though we were supposed to drop his defense the previous time, but we messed up. But like I said, you know, it is what it is. I should have um actually looked at my team real fast. Yeah, Jay. Okay. Wait, you said you showed him that 50%? Yeah. 50 or 15? 50. 15. 15? Okay. So um go put on the charger and then come back and show me because I'm busy right now. Oh, it actually is amazing. Whoa, you got a fire pit. You got I so many you. things. Oh, Nana, I love wait, you. Wait. I love you. Get out. Wait, I'm busy. Oh my gosh. All right, Jay. I think I might be messed up. Oh no, no, I should be fine. Cause he only did um 100 and I think 150 or so. To he did like 146 to um to Shikamaru. So therefore he should not be able to kill Sai at all. All right. So we're gonna get both of our, our um juices off again. There we go. Increase our attack by 20%. Then we're going to increase our attack by another 20% uh, percent plus increase our crit rate, which is awesome. Uh, Curse Jutsu. 
We sh oh my god, don't die. Don't fucking die, Sai. Woo! Okay, Sai didn't die. <laughs> Had to make sure. So, and now, uh, final turn. Alright. We should be able to get some pretty big damage. So, let's see. Even though he lowered our... What is that? Damage? Result? I don't I don't know what he did, man. I don't even know what Hiran does. <laughs> like, nobody uses him. I, I just can't remember offhand right now. Alright, so... We did 1.4, then we did what, 7.3 or something like that. And then for our last attack, we're going to do. Let's see, hopefully we get a crit. Another 7.5? What the fuck? We didn't get a crit. Oh, that's balls. But I mean, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not super angry. We got 20 million damage off, uh, which is not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's a 20 million damage. Like I said, and plus we messed up. And we we could, like, reset for crits, etc. So let's do um, let's do one more. But this time we're going to switch our um, Obito. Oh, and then again, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe F Obito. Even though I personally like Obito. But I'm thinking I'm going to switch him for um, Karen Sasuke real quick. Because Karen Sasuke lowers the damage reduction rate for, um, like, permanently. So, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to switch Obito for Karen. Where are you, Karen Sasuke? There you are. And I know I, I need to boost him. I could get him to like five star now, but you know. Anyway, so we're going to have Karen Sasuke. No, you can have an orange if you want a snack. What's an orange? An orange. Orange. Okay. Um. We, sh we should be fine. Unless um, Hokage Naruto gets hit with a... Um... No, that's a, a Clementine orange. This is a really small orange with no seeds. Nah, get out of there. What? I'm telling you. <laughs> this is life. All right. We're going to try this again. See, the thing is, we didn't, we didn't get a crit on that, that last one. I don't think we did anyway. But let's see. Okay, so once again, we're gonna do this. It's, it's weird that we um we got seven point five and then we boosted and got seven point five again. Was, oh, we got like seven point three. Then wanted to like seven point five. But like I said, um, we'll we'll, we'll do it again. And, and twenty million damage is is all right. I mean, it's better than you know the like you can get like eight or nine million damage, ten million maybe, just doing it with um you know, essentially just using like. Your damage units to just do big damage, if that makes sense. Like, like um co-ops, but with tribes, if you you can like keep boosting and you can really really get busy. Hey Jay, turn that turn that down right now. Yeah, hello, clubhouse. All right, so Karen, this time, all right, now this time we're gonna get it right. So this time we're gonna lower his damage reduction rate for the rest of battle. Okay, which is substantial. If we can get a stun, cool. I mean, I really don't necessarily. Think we need a stun per se. All right, uh, C3 is going to lower his defense now. Even though it didn't lower his defense, apparently. I mean, I didn't see it pop up. Maybe I'm tripping. And then, um, okay, we can live with that. Um, uh, anybody which should be fine unless he attacks Naruto, which I would super, you know, prefer. Now, oh, like I said, oh, if we get a stun, if we get a stun, that's cool. You know what I mean? So let's see. Shadow Stitch and Jutsu. We did not get the stun. We got the damage reduction rate. All right. We did um a half a million there. And then Susano is going to do 750. That's okay. Uh, depends on who he attacks. He attacks Naruto, which is like obviously not what we wanted. Oh. I kind of want to reset, but I just want, I'm going to just um, run this through one more time real quick just to see if we do more damage on, on like the last one instead of just the 7.5 million. So we shall see. I, it's like, uh, I mean, I kind of know already that it's kind of like, uh, you might as well just kind of reset that. Oh, right. Okay. I see what happened. I see what happened. I forgot we didn't get the extra damage reduction rate. From um Shikamaru, which is why we didn't get as much damage the last time we did it. Okay, that makes sense. 
And also because we didn't, like I said, we didn't have the, um, the permanent damage reduction rate debuff. Karen's a really good unit. I, I still use him to this day, even though I'm, he's like my only four star unit that I still use. Well, I guess I use Datara, but only for like here and like fights about genealogy. But I don't, I don't actually use him in like PvP or anything like that. At this point in the game, um, it's just better units for what I'm hoping to accomplish. Okay, now then. This time around, hopefully we can get a stun. If we don't get a stun, I mean, like I said, if we don't get the stun, we will be fine. Uh, we would have been fine as long as he didn't attack, um, you know, Hokage Naruto. But he did, so it is what it is. All right, there we go. We got on um, 1.8. Now we're going to raise his defense again. Not raise his defense. Raise our attack and crit rate. There we go. 6.2 this time around, which is substantially less because, we, once again, we didn't get the, um, the... I saw Hokage Naruto's 20% attack boost, which would have been like substantial, but it is what it is. And then now we're going to go in and use it again. But I, I think once I see how much damage you do, I might actually reset this just to um help to help the alliance out. But like I said, let's see. Hey, Jay, turn that down. All right, and let's see how much damage can we do on our last attack. Nine million. I mean, it's whatever. I guess technically we did more damage than last time. We got about 21, 22 just now. Oh, wow. Okay, so the same goddamn thing. Which is funny, right? Sheesh, I bet you wish we had that damn um, juice now. But it, it is what it is. Um, it probably been about a two million damage difference or four million damage difference with um, us doing nine million minus a 20% buff so you know that's that okay then we're gonna hop on into our last attack of the evening um i'm actually gonna just leave everything the same oh you know what here's what i'm gonna do real quick here's what i'm gonna do real quick i'm gonna go on and um i'm gonna go on and give shikamaru some more hp real fast that way he got uh because we know he's getting hit with about 150 ish so we gotta get him above the 150 hp threshold so let's see, go Shikamaru. Very low, because I literally only use him here. It just is what it is. Oh, we're going to um, level him up real fast. Let's get some some extra buffs or whatever. Let's just level him up real quick. Give him some extra HP. All right, I think about, as long as we get to about 77. So we got him. Um, all right, so right now he's at 125, huh? 125, 125. That's fine. That's fine. Man, I got a lot to do. But, as the way. Uh, I'm actually going to increase his Shadow Stitch and Jutsu. That way we can um get even more damage reduction rate. And I, I, I probably should have did this like all day. But I, I started then playing Mobile Legends again. I started playing Banglory again. I didn't start playing One Piece. The fucking battle royale opbl bounty rush there you go you know so you know time and then you know drive and lift etc i had i got i'm like off of work but i got like uh, the things i'm doing uh man so, all right so we gotta get into a 150k okay so i'm, I'm gonna power him up real quick and i'm i'm gonna be right okay and we're back i had to go on um, like max out his gear because apparently i never actually powered up any of his gear but it is what it is okay so now i got him to about 100 and was it 158 ish um hp so he should be able to survive in um a uh, jutsu from he done hopefully um it's like all right hopefully he done does not actually get stunned but if he does we should still be kind of fine we should still kind of be fine because all right if we stun him now then we're gonna get hit on the second go around of using our jutsu but i'm mean, using our um our trial special but it's not really gonna be that big a deal because i believe the trial, trial special also heals yes it recovers all allied by 24 percent of on attack which is actually gonna be pretty substantial give or take so then let's go we're gonna use our comrades
and hopefully we get some um you know pretty decent damage. I'm actually gonna speed up to three times, and hopefully you don't um, be doing that bullshit. Oh, okay, so that's how we got a crit. We did 2.6, which is legit. 2.6 that time. All right. Whereas previously, like I said, we get 1.4. So that's what um the crit damage from Dataras. Um, fuck him! Fuck him! Fuck! Okay, I just like spilled my drink all over myself and I'm like super not happy. <laughs> I just want to finish this and get the F out of here. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so angry right now. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm about to pause this real quick. Okay, I'm back with a vengeance. I spilled my whole drink on myself. But, like I said, we're going to lower his damage reduction rate prior to um, actually unleashing our jutsus. Uh, in this particular situation, um... It might have been a little bit better to have um Travel Gara, Travel Gara, but I didn't build him yet, so you know I'm working on him now. But that would like him instead of um Naruto would be pretty cool. So, okay, so now Shikamaru's not gonna get killed because we just piled him. We literally just 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 piled him up. So he took 148,000, which did not one shot him this time. Previously he only had like 126k or so. So now we're gonna juice to again. Hopefully we get another crit. Remember previously we just did 2.6, I wanna say. Yeah, then we did like 2.6 mil. So we're gonna um, bust another tribe off real quick. And there we go. We got 7.1 mil, which I wanna say is not a crit, but it could be. I don't, I don't think it is though. But that's the way. Okay, so now we're gonna once again lower his damage reduction rate, lower his defense again, and increase our um, tactical units attack again So, you know, even though I guess technically I don't know. I guess it's all the same difference. I was gonna say like technically I probably could use um Dry at first to boost their tactical damage, but I mean it is what it is I dry just does not do a lot of damage. Okay now it and now it does not matter who he like jutsus or whatever And now if we, if we get the stun off that would be like ideal but I mean, it is what it is at this particular point. And honestly, if he kills somebody, that would just boost Naruto's attack anyway. I will, um, you are Naruto. Who are we using for the tribe special? Okay, so we got the damage reduction rate. Once again, we got the um double attack increase. I wish it was like a permanent increase, but it's not. It is what it is. Not that big a deal. And then there we go. He is not going to kill him. We just, oh, so he does um damage reduction rate on attacking or some shit like that. Something like that. But either way, okay, so this is gonna be our last time around. Uh hopefully we can get a, a crit and get some some pretty big damage. We shall see. So here we go. We're gonna use our comrades try a special and we are going to do. Let's see, right? Hopefully some damage. Hopefully we get a crit, right? Let's see. Let us see. We're gonna do 9.8. Okay. That was that was alright. Um that was okay. I don't I don't think that that was a crit though. I think normally on a crit do about eleven to twelve million, give or take. But um alright, so that that time that was the best we did so far. We did um two point four or no what's that twenty four million. So you know if you could replicate that three times, you know, you probably gonna have to um like reset for crits, etc. But you know, let's say if you can do about let's say even twenty million, you know, it's only gonna take a well, hundred runs to get to like two billion. Which sounds like a lot, but it's like okay, you get three, and then if you have forty members in your um alliance, you can like essentially just wipe out these guys, you know, quick, fast, and in a hurry. And then you can like get rid of their de their damage reduction buffs and guard buffs and defense buffs, etc. So you can do even more massive damage moving forward. But as well, guys, that's just um a little, a little, a little video. I'll show you guys, um, you know, pretty much the best strategy to go about it currently, and I'm sure people are gonna keep doing more and more testing, and they're gonna come up with even better strategies. Eyes away. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Hit your boy up on Reddit. Hit me up in the comment section if you have questions. They will be answered, if not by me, by somebody else, but more than likely by me. Hit me up on Twitter at Ace underscore Summers. Hit me up on Instagram at Air 
like H E I R underscore summers. All of these gonna have be um in the description. And hit me up on Reddit on at LA Summers. Hit me up on Discord, same thing, LA Summers. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I was away, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys are really grinding out all of these events. And thanks for watching. Peace.